Hello everyone, so welcome back to another video and today we are going to do a performance test review of Namecheap Shade Hosting. Right now it is one of the cheapest hosting options available from a known brand and the aim of this video will be to help you decide if this is the right hosting for you or not. So I have posted all the results from multiple tests on my blog post and its link will be in the description as well. So if you want to see something in detail, um, you can visit my blog and see the results here. So let's start with the video. Here is a table of contents to easily navigate through the blog post. So the first test I did was the server response time results. So this is the basically latency test. So what it basically means is this is the time that data will take from traveling from this location to your server. So from this, um, the general rule will be that anything the result below 100 is fine or till 100 is fine. So it, from this data you can see um, if your visitor are from US, e West or East then it's fine um, even from London I think it will be okay but from everywhere else the response time is really high. If you want to check the detailed data just visit my blog post and if you want to see the source of this data you can uh, view it from here just click on it and you will see the test results. So now let's move to the next test. So the next test I did is the speed test from three multiple locations and I have done each test multiple times. So to make sure that you get the correct data and from the speed test you can see um, the site was up in all locations. Uh, the first test was from New York, Frankfurt and Mumbai and you can see the, the paid size is really small. The first thing you should notice is it's just 124 KB and still it took like 2.5 seconds minimum and from Mumbai it was 4.8 Frankfurt um, these are not very satisfactory results uh, and I've done a lot of optimization so you can see its effect here the load time in, on repeat visit is really low but um, the first visit load time is not acceptable at all and the second test um, again from, I did from Hong Kong Virginia and Beijing. This time the page loading time was even higher and still the page size is still too low. Uh, this is the same page but the loading time is way too high and you can see on repeat visit it uh, comes down drastically because of the optimization but the first uh, visit load time matters a lot. So you can see it is not very good in terms of the loading speed. So the next test I did was from this Google page speed tool so here um, if I will show you a live test let me analyze it again here you will notice that I'm getting really good results for mobile it is 90 and for desktop it is 92 so these are good results right but um, the thing is this, these are lab results and in real world it will be different so the thing you should notice is the speed index can see it's 6.4 seconds it's way too much and for desktop also it is 2.3 seconds it has been marked as red and the reason for this is this initial server response time uh, for mobile also the, the main culprit is this initial server response time and you can improve many things with optimization you can see here it has passed 30 audits for mobile and for desktop it has passed 31 audits but the thing is this is the main issue the server response time and you cannot fix it it completely depends on the server used by your hosting provider so we cannot do really much about it so now let's go back to the next test here you can see in my test also this was the main culprit the server response time was way too high in both the tests here once it was 1.25 seconds then on the next test it was almost 4 seconds so then uh, this is the real world data which is Core Web Vitals and it is really important it is from the Webmaster Tools area. This data can decide your ranking in the search results. So it is really important and you cannot ignore and you can see here this is the Core Web Vitals data you can see all pages are showing error and in detailed report you can see all the 23 URLs are showing as poor. What it means is the page loading time, the LCP is more than 4 seconds. So, but here in the lab results, you will see 
this largest contentful paint lcp is just 0.5 seconds on desktop and on mobile it's just 1.9 seconds well below the 4 seconds limit but in real world uh, because of the this issue uh, the server response time this lcp drastically increases to 4 seconds and unfortunately we cannot do anything to improve it so the last test is this low testing with 50 to 100 clients so 5 to 100 clients so what happens is i send virtual users who will do actions like real users they will open your website and load page do refresh and things like that so in this test you can see i was not able to complete it because the this test was aborted because it reached error threshold so i will explain you what it really means is um, so what uh, I did was I selected 5 to 100 clients maximum for a period of one minute and here you can see this green line is the number of clients and this blue line graph is the response time and you can see here as soon as the five clients hit the site the response time of the server suddenly increased well above the one second so that's really bad and then it came down a bit then up and down so this so this response time should be a consistent line and this up down is not good so you can see um here till the client number till the number of clients for 2021 the server was able to respond but as soon as the number of clients increased above 21 the server crashed and i started getting all this error you can see this 500 uh, error code and because of the too many errors the test was aborted so what it means for you is this hosting is good if you are expecting 5 to 10 real time users but if you are expecting anything more than that then this hosting server will not be able to handle that traffic so if you are just a beginner and um, you just created your first site you are on a really tight budget then only you should go with this hosting i mean it is good i have used it for a while um, and i have been testing it uh, on my site is hosted here for six months because i was not targeting uh, getting traffic from seo but now i want to do that so i'm looking to change my hosting i have done some research and shortlisted some other hosting companies from where you can get hosting on a budget and also get a decent performance so i'm going to test them and then uh, i will update you with the final results the results will be published in few days it will be available on this blog post so if i have updated it you can check the link of this blog post in the description and see if i have updated anything so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and name cheap share hosting is a good hosting if you're on a budget I have used it for a while and the great thing is the uptime is great you also get decent support and it's very cheap but you have to do a lot of compromise on the performance so you have to decide if this is the right hosting for you or not and that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video